ever since I've made a video, an actual talking video since like April, yeah, it's been a long time. I really, really miss you guys. I really don't want to explain why I've been gone or anything like that, but I do have a few exciting things to tell you. First off, my roommate has officially moved in, but she has officially moved out again because she's actually gone back to LA for the summer, but she will be back in July, which means I will be doing an updated room tour and a lot has changed. It looks amazing in here. I can't wait for you guys to see what's behind this camera right now. It looks amazing. Um, second announcement is that I am back, and I'm going to stay back because it's summer now and I have nothing better to do. Um, no, okay, honestly, it's senior year now, you guys. I'm gonna be a senior, isn't that crazy? That's so weird. I, ugh, that's just weird. I feel like there's so much about to happen, and I'm going to college soon, and, you know, things are starting to really happen, so I have actually been taking into consideration doing daily vlogs instead of beauty, so I would definitely like your guys' opinion on that, because I really would like to do it, only if you guys want me to, unless you want me to keep doing beauty videos, that's totally fine with me too, but I really, really, really think doing vlogs, especially with my life starting to kind of escalate and get a lot more interesting, I would like to show you guys my life, and I think it would be really fun. Um, yeah, my hair is different. It's shorter. It's kind of messy today because I attempted straightening it, but I didn't do the full straightening, so apologies for it looking quite unkept, but I promise it's just my hair. I do not like it short, I'm going to be completely honest. But that's a whole other video in itself. I can do a video about anything you want, you guys. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing my May favorites, even though it's a little late. I still wanted to do them because I think it's still an okay time to do them, right? Yeah, sure. Anyways, I'm going to jump straight into my beauty favorites for May. So my first beauty favorite for May has been Tarte's Bronzer, and this is in Park Avenue Princess. I think I've raved about this before, but honestly, this is one of the best bronzers I think I've ever had. And I actually got this in a swap with Daisy Kitten 94 who is now Jessica XO. And she hasn't been on YouTube in forever. I miss her dearly. But yeah, I really, really like this, especially because it's officially summer for me, at least. I know I'm dressing all black and it's summer. <laughs> so festive. Anyways, but I've been loving just putting this on and giving my face that really tan look um, because I am, you know, I have naturally kind of palish skin. I'm pretty white, you know. So I've been loving Tarte's bronzer. So yeah, I've already hit pan on it, so... Okay, next I've been loving Rimmel's Liquid Eyeliner. This stuff is actually really freaking amazing. It's like a felt tip, so... I don't know, I feel like I can apply a lot easier than if it was just a brush. So I've been really liking this a lot, and it was a really inexpensive one, like five, six dollars. It was so cheap, and for the price, you definitely get a really good product, and it makes some really nice wings, and yeah. <laughs> Next product also from Rimmel is Scandal Eyes, this mascara. It's pretty big, so yeah. Um, and it's just called Scandal Eyes and not much more to it. Uh, the brush is like this, it's pretty big, it's pretty outrageous. It has like this curve that goes in. Um, it looks on, it makes my lashes look amazing. Been loving this, definitely worth like the five dollars that I spent for it. Next is something that I thought I would not be mentioning because I thought it was just like a lame little tool but it's actually really great and it's the e.l.f. The blending brush um despite it being from e.l.f. which e.l.f. is kind of more of the more inexpensive brands this is really really good you guys like honestly I don't rave about brushes much maybe I've just never had a good blending brush I don't know but I really like this brush um whenever I do my makeup now it just looks so flawless to me like when I do it I just I think it looks really nice and this has been a very handy tool for doing that and it's just basically this like, you know, basic looking brush. I can't really show you because my camera doesn't autofocus, it's lame. Um, and then my last beauty favorite, which I kind of rediscovered it, I was like, I found it. Um, I found it while I was cleaning something, or my mom was cleaning something because I lost it. Um, <clears throat> and I kind of rediscovered my Naked palette and yes. I know, this is such a typical favorite. This is probably a favorite from like 2012, but I don't care. I rediscovered it and I love it. Um, yeah, we all know what it looks like at this point, but Naked, definitely my favorite. I've been loving putting on the actual color Naked and then putting Sidecar in my crease. They both look really pretty. All right, so my first non-beauty favorite is a candle from Bath & Body Works, and this is in Beach Day. I live at the beach, so it's 
quite a fitting candle for my room and it just smells it doesn't really even smell like a beach like it just smells really fresh like clean and clean like just like linen it doesn't really even smell like a beach at all it smells really good it's like this subtle clean feeling smell not feeling I really didn't know if it was a beauty favorite or not, I just included it in non-beauty, but I've been loving Endless Weekend from Bath & Body Works. This stuff smells so good. This is like summer in a scent, to me at least, I think. It's like, uh, just so fresh and vibrant. I really like the way it smells, and I love the packaging on it too, which is kind of like the tribal print kind of stuff. Like, I just like it a lot. I, I think it's an all-around perfect perfume, or body spray, um, for the summer, so... Okay, last non-beauty favorite is this bracelet. I got this at Earth Day, actually in April, so, but you know what, I wore it during May, so it counts. Basically, it's just this bracelet with like a yin yang on it, and if you know me, I love yin yangs, I love just the symbol in general, I probably will get it tattooed on me one day. It's this yin yang bracelet, and I always wear it, and I think it's just kind of that cute little hipster touch to your outfit, I think it looks really cute. And it was like, what, $7? So, totally worth it. Okay, so wrapping up this favorites video, I'm going to end it with my favorite movie and my favorite songs <laughs> for May. Even though one of them wasn't even in May, I'm still going to count it because I want to talk about it. So the movie that I saw was The Fallen Are Stars. Oh my god, you guys, 10 out of 10, no doubt about it. I freaking love that movie so much. It kind of killed me a lot, yeah. I read the book a long time ago, like two years ago, and... I was just in love with both the characters, Hazel and Augustus, and watching it come together on film and me being kind of like this film junkie in a way, I thought just like it was so amazing. I thought they did it so well from the book to the movie and I loved it, honestly. I loved it. As for songs, I have been listening to Codaline, All I Want. Oh my god, you guys, this song. Oh. It was in The Fault in Our Stars, coincidentally enough, but it's honestly so good. It's so good, you guys. Also, I've been liking Key and Crates. I forgot the name, but it's a really good song. It's kind of one of those dubstep songs. I discovered it on a vine. Also, I've been loving Disclosure, Latch, Latch, Disclosure, whatever. I don't even know. Yeah, another one I saw on a vine. Probably a really typical song that everyone has heard, but yeah, that's basically... All the songs I've been listening to besides my typical songs that I've already listened to previously. Anyways, I am so glad to be back you guys and I hope you're glad that I'm back too. Almost to 800 subscribers so thank you so much for just sticking with me despite me being gone for so long. I'm back and I am ready to take your guys' requests. Anything you want to see just leave a comment down below. You know I always read your guys' comments and I love you guys to death and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!